Olympics, Martin and Fran. Fran again. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't forgot. Oh, I hadn't yeah. forgot. Uh, we were at uh, Harworth Heating up in near Doncaster. They one of their products is the bubble stoves. Yeah. So we've come up and give those guys a visit. We've just had a really good chat with uh, one of the guys up here, Terry. He's been fantastic. Experts is still like me, yeah. which we like. I'm trying to put the country <laughs> right. Anyway, um, Fran's hiding. Come on. Uh, oh, our stove. <laughs> so this is the um, this is the actual stove that we're going for, which is a diesel. Yeah, corner. Diesel corner um, corner stove. This one's actually got the. They're like the, f the fire brick or the fire uh, inserts as well. So you get like a bit of a real flame effect. Yeah, we're just talking to Terry about um, what's uh, needed. how you control it and what's needed. They're, they're going to put a complete kit of parts together for us. Um, one of the things which is really, I hadn't even seen these. Hold that then, Franny. Hold that. Hold the camera. Hold the camera. Okay, so, yeah, so these, these little pumps from Jabsco, uh, 12 volt central heating pumps. Um, generally changing a pump when it's plumbed in like this is a real pain in the backside. But Jabsco actually have a system where you undo the collar and the whole pump, there's Ta -da. the impeller, da -da, da -da, <laughs> the whole pump comes out and leaves, leaves the base all in place. So all you need to do is turn, turn these uh, ball valves off to isolate the water, swap out the pump head or get a new pump in, or keep a spare maybe. I think probably that's what we'll do. Um, fasten it back up, and there it is, your pump's replaced. I think that's fantastic. So I've took a part, I've took a part number of this one, extreme close-up, but I'll actually put that in the links as well. Uh, Terry was just saying about putting two of these in, one for your central heating, because we're having a wet one, a wet one. <laughs> sounds, <laughs> sounds a bit sounds wrong. A bit wrong. Um, <laughs> one with a, a water jacket on the back, so we're gonna pipe radiators through it or feed radiators from it. And hot um, water. And our hot water, so you can actually um, run two separate circuits, one for your hot water and one for your central eating. Okay, so that, that's, that, that was a really great find. Um, if we want to have a look at the, the back here as well. So we're just looking at the controls here. You can't do this with a, with a, a log, uh, log burner. Very on and offable. And on adjust, and offable. Adjustable, yeah. on adjustable and offable. Heat. So, yeah, Terry was just saying that uh, when your boat's warm, just leave that on two. That should be enough then. Uh, that's probably about two or three kilowatt there. Um, and that'll keep, that'll keep your boat warm once it's there. Job done. And this is, this is I forgot what this is called. Uh, I think it was, um, I think it was some like four cc's an hour. And we are going to do some maths on that, so I'll do some of that in a minute. How much we think we're paying on solid fuel, yeah, then fire lighters, and... and all that sort of stuff. Fire lighters, um, kindling, yeah, all that. And th this this will run much cheaper. And, and we'll talk about that in a second. But um, this will run much cheaper than than um, than one of those uh, log burners that we've normally had, and we don't have all the mess and the dust and the too old for that shit now. Oh. And they also make the one with the. I'll show that as oh, well. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a, this is a really. We did think about one of these actually. These are um, these ones here. You've got the. This is a solid fuel one. Uh, you've got, you, the, pie you've got the pie oven at the top. I like pies. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, you can have the pie oven on the top as well. I don't think we're going to go for that this time. Are we? no. We're just going to go for um, the standard oven. Because we quite like, again, just swinging round. Um, we quite like that uh, you can put like cast iron pots on here. This fiddle rail comes with it. There is like a, there is like a, a skirt that goes around a skirt and a, a skirt that goes around here. And there's the, there's a little badge that sits on the front bubble. So they're all bubble stove. Do you know something? Talking to Terry just. <laughs> It's, it's all made locally. It's all made around here in Doncaster, where they can. There's some of the some of the valves that come from, I think, Belgium, he said. Yeah, but, but everything all, sourced locally. So. All the fixings, the shop blasting, the painting, everything's done here in the local area, which we really love. And we mentioned on one of our videos before, didn't we? That mm. Buy British. We're going to buy British as much as we can. We can't do it everything, can. but, where, but we can. Uh, where we can, we're going to do that. And this, this is a great place, all made, all made here. Just outside Doncaster, great guys, um, and really, 
They're not, they're not cheap. Cheap ain't good. <laughs> is it? Cheap ain't good. We don't do cheap. <laughs> yeah, boy won't be perfect. Um, so yeah, he was also telling us he's, he's going to put the whole kit together for us uh, with the expansion vessel. And also there is... Um, Everything that we might need. There is a, yeah, there's a, there's a shut-off valve <laughs> as well that you, you actually put a, a temperature sensor on the hot water jacket. So if it is boiling, say if one of your pumps fails, that switches your pump, your uh, diesel supply off. So mm. he's going to put all that together. Obviously, we're going to fit all that. He is. Sorry, I'm going to fit all that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just thought we'd do... Uh, it's, it's just a very quick video. We, we're, going to, we're going to diesel. We're not doing log burner anymore. Um, and yeah, Har Harworth Heating, or sometimes known as bubble, bubble Stoves. Check those guys out, they're really friendly. Um, they're in the factory now. Yeah, and we're like, so we're, we're probably gonna, left when you're watching this. We're going to compare the prices from... Yeah, we just do a bit of a scribble. Um, well, next. Um, just on, on what, that, uh, what we think those values are for heating and costs and things so we're uh, running costs no so and i know for a fact it's cleaner having this Def yeah definitely cleaner definitely cleaner so that's my uh yeah and and fran mentioned we were talking to terry you know if anything happened to me which some eventually it will um i'm getting tired of carrying coal around and the dust and the ash and all that we love a real fire mm. don't we yeah we love a real fire but it, it, as i get older that's going to be more difficult and if anything happened to me that would probably stop fran or it would, it, would, it would make her move off the boat whether she wanted to or not because it would be it would be just too much work. Yeah. So um, we think diesel is the way to go. Also, before we do that money thing, the, the price thing in a second, we're also seeing that um, there's a lot of uh, urbanisation around marinas and canals mm. and, and people are complaining about um, solid fuel smoke, smoke and... Yeah. At least with a diesel stove, all you're going to get is a heat haze out of the out of the top of the chimney. So nobody's going to really know anything. It's no no worse than a boiler, really, is it in a house? So mm. um, we think probably long term wise that might be better. And even even then, is solid fuel going to be regulated tighter, which means it will go up in price? We think diesel's going to be around for a while. And hopefully. <laughs> it should be. There's too many trucks well, and things see. around and it'll farming. See out, so. <laughs> it'll see us out. And, and, and Terry was saying you can run these on biofuels as well. So when that biofuel becomes available for your diesel engines in canal boats, these will these will happily run on that as well. If yeah. it's the correct grade and I was saying a company locally had just got the yeah, viscosity they're correct they're doing it now, and they're doing yeah. it now. So yeah. anyway, so yeah. Um bubble stove. Yep. There's there's a that's not the one. We're having a a gun, a gun yeah, metal version gun with, metal with, stain, stainless with stainless steel. fittings. But um, yeah, just a quick spin around. You can see the back. Uh, there's the there's the valve there. There's a little shut off valve on here as well. Just at the back here. So if you were to hit a lock gate and swash the fuel around, this actually trips out to stop any, but well, just a safety measure. And again, you just have to, there's a little there's just a little arm here that you just reset it again, along where the, the flow controller is. Four inch outlet now, which is good. Uh, so we, we can go and get the chimney to the flue to, to match that. Okay, so uh, prices. Right. right, we've made it to um, the Talbot uh, Alton. Hotel. Pub. Pub. Alton. Alton. Yeah, because we're at Alton Towers tomorrow. So we're at a campsite in a minute. So we did that uh, Harworth heating. I may have said Harwood earlier. Harworth heating. Yeah. Harworth. Manufacturer of the bubble stove. So yeah, we're, we're, we're sheltered from the rain. Um, we're pretty nice. <coughs> but yeah, he just chucked it down. <laughs> so, um, the heavens have opened. So we, we, we dodged in somewhere to get a coffee. How's your coffee, friend? Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> anyway, well, it's, yeah, really enjoyed seeing those guys down there. Yeah, good um, day. We've done we've done some maths. Rough as hell. But anyway. Um, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Shooters. Yeah, we done some maths. Um, yeah, we've we've just worked on for like the October, October to end of March. Uh, sort of winter season. Yeah. I think that's when most people have got the yeah. log burners on. So a 27-week period, really. And this is going to be based on 24 hours a day, is it? 
Yeah, well, you log, you log burners on 24 hours a day and the, and the, and the well, your fire would be in, on a boat. So 27 weeks, we reckon, which, which shocked me because it's half the year. <laughs> I suppose we live in the UK. I didn't think winter was that long, but it probably is in the UK. It is this year. It is this year. And so we're, we're sat now sort of dithering a little bit if the, if the, if the camera's doing anything. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, we're waffling. So we, we we just we just worked out some <laughs> figures really, and it's it's probably it's probably not ch cheaper than we thought. It's not it's not significantly cheaper than like, than solid, solid fuel because yeah. we've worked out like two bags of coal a week, which is about what we were getting through. Mm. A couple of bags of kindling and a couple of fire packs lighters, of fire lighters and stuff, you know, to get. On. I know, sometimes I, know, we buy wood I know sometimes we buy logs then. and stuff like that as well. So it would be higher than that. So I still think it come, it would be cheaper. But basically, yeah, we, we reckon we spend about £648 on heating on that log burner um, throughout the winter period. And like we say, we think it's more. I think we could easily add 100 quid to that. Because when, when we buy logs and things like that, and we, and we do. So it's, let, let's say seven seven fifty. I think that's fair. Yeah. Because we do, you know, they're ten pound a net, in they for a set of logs, and when it's cold, that's what we do. So seven fifty. We've just gone through the um, the fuel consumption of the diesel, and it's this is based on the low setting. Is oh yeah, constant well, the, heat for the twenty four hours. You've got, I think it was five settings on there, and it v ranges from point <coughs> one eight of a litre an hour to point four eight of a litre an hour. So the point four eight is a Oh, that's going to cost you. But what Terry was saying, and I sort of agree with him really, because we've seen it before. We've done it before. You guys have all done it before. When your boat's warm, you just need it to tick over. The the problem becomes when your boat's left to go cold, like we did in over early winter. Part of the early year, early part of the year was away December, for a few January. days. It took days and days to get any heat into that boat at all. Mm. So we're sort of basing the figures on the low setting. And we know, yes, yeah, some days we'll be turning it up, but that, that's the good thing. Most, I think a lot of the time it'll probably be on low once your boat's warm. So it basically works out to um, £3.24 a day, diesel on low setting. That's on 75p. We all know how that goes, up and down all the time. Mm. It is probably quite cheap at the moment. Of course, you can run it on red. So it's the, the taxes... Which, oh, but we'll get, we can get red by us. That's, that's no problem. Yeah, put yeah. red in ours. Um, so you run it on red. So that comes out, over the same period, it comes out to 612. So 750, 612. Not a lot. Not a vast difference, but it weren't about that really for us. It's not about that. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not about that. We, we, we've gone, there's, there's ease of use, making our life easier, uh, engineering, engineering the workout. We do love a real fire. We've mm. said this, this before, we love a real fire, but it's it's, it's it's it 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 is it is the major cause of dust, yeah, and probably quite harmful particles as well. When you breathe, you know, you open the fire, chuck something, or clean the ash pan out. You look if there's any sun shining in the window. You it, can see uh, the dust particles you, everywhere. Yeah, and yeah. I think they're quite harmful particles as mm. well. It's not like it's bloody fairy dust. It's it's quite nasty shit. So. So we we're looking at it more for ease of use. Ease so of well, use, yeah, yeah ease of use. use, cleaner, 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 not having to lug, not having to go fetch coal. I haven't coal. got to rely on him. <laughs> well, you, uh, that's true, really? you, you haven't, no, no, I mean, there's been, I mean, I used to work away in Europe, Middle East and Africa quite a lot, and you'd be, you could be on your own all week, mm. and yet, you realise how hard work it is, because if, if I'm at home, I'll do it, I'll clean, I'll generally clear the fire out, mm. and I'll load it up before she comes home, so, oh. I know, I'm special. <laughs> Um, but yes, uh, it, it, it's more about that not carrying bags of coal. And yes, I know you can get coal delivered in some places. Um, and they'll even wheel it up to the boat for you. There's one boy by us that does that. Yeah. But I say boy, geez, I don't know who does it. But you know, you're stacking your coal if you're going to buy it by bulk, and you? Mm -hmm. yeah, the ash yeah, gets yeah, everywhere. Storage as well, isn't it? And you ain't gonna have all that outlay where where we're putting the bags of coal. No, and on a narrow boat, you know, a lot of people throw it on the roof and stuff, which is fine, great. That's all part of the narrow boat life, I think. Mm. We just don't want to do that anymore. No, so we're just thinking of cleanliness, cleanliness, and, and ease of life. Really. So yeah. 
we've worked it out and it's 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 comparable there's not yeah. a lot of difference and and we know the initial outlays more we know they're more expensive yeah, to buy so as well that so that but it's choice it's all about choices at the end of the day in. can't get a word in well, it makes a change bloody hell <laughs> just make a change um it's threw me off now what was i going to say i don't know Ah yes, yeah. That that uh, that corner unit is um, eighteen hundred pound as it stands. So that's easily a thousand pound more than a, a yeah, squirrel, yeah. I suppose. Squirrels about I think squirrels about eight nine nine eight fifty something like that. So it's, it's super super expensive. You know, you there are some extra costs involved as well. But you know, the, the beauty of having this one as well is that it gets us the. Um, the central heating radiators along the boat, like in our bedroom and bathroom, it's distributing that heat, you know. I think there's nothing worse to have a, a boat at one end and um, the, the, you know, your bedroom's froze or something, mm. which, which we've had in our, our boat a little bit, yeah. even though our, our fire was often, mid. No. no, not very often, but yeah. this, spreads, this spreads that heat evenly throughout the boat. So I think, as, again, as we get older, It'll make it make life easier for us so um that's what we're doing anyway that's our quick thing our quick thing uh, this is our first video in our boat boat tech it's not that techy really but it is it is along the lines of what we was going to do what we're going to get for the yeah. boat um the more the more technical side of it i suppose but uh of course we're, I'll, I'll do a vlog on installing it mm -hmm. unless you're going to do it unless you're going to do it no no she's not doing it do you trust me to do it no, not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll so, yeah, film you. <laughs> yeah, you'll film me installing it. So we'll do all that as well. But yeah, there we go. That's what we've got, the bubble stove. Uh, we've really enjoyed seeing those guys. Yeah, uh, Terry and Anne. Oh, do you know something as well? It's a it's a real it's a family company as well. Some of the mm, some of their sons and, well, gra yeah, and grand grandkids work. Grown up they're not kids anymore. <laughs> they're not like they're not like getting five year olds to build fires. <laughs> That'd be wrong. But yeah, the grandsons <laughs> work there, don't they, and things like that. It's really so, great. Yeah, proper, really nice. Proper, nice to meet them. Proper, yeah, proper down to earth people. It's proper down to earth. So we've really enjoyed going up there. It's definitely worth doing that. So Terry's putting that kit together. So that's our first one on our boat tech. Yeah. One. So brace yourselves. There's a very wet Alton Towers one coming. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But it, we're in Alton at the moment. We're in Alton and at the moment. Uh, Sun and rain, sun and rain, but yeah, constantly raining at the moment. Yeah, we sort of, we sort of, we sort of cowering, 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 cowering under the under this canopy because it's absolutely chucking it down. Our campsite's just up the road, the Star. We do a bit of a vlog from there, and um, that'll go on to obviously our van stuff. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Yep. Please subscribe if if you feel like it. Is it there, or is it there? Anyway. <laughs> Please subscribe. Thanks for no, you don't go up there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Thank Ciao. You. Bye. Bye. <laughs>